Hello everybody, Vincent St. Louis here with VincentandCarry.com. Listen, I want to talk to you guys about creating passive income. Okay, there, there's a couple of things. When, when people think about creating a, a passive income stream, they most of the time they think about network marketing or, or MLM or home-based businesses. And, and for, those are great opportunities to create passive income. So I've created a very huge income through network marketing, built a team over 5,000 people. But a lot of times people think of also a brick and mortar business. I actually had a, I was a general contractor. I built uh, houses for a living, had employees working for me. The problem with that is it really wasn't passive because if I wasn't there, you know, the cat's away, the mice are at play. Unless you just got enough to where you can build a very large business. Um, for most people, building a large business with lots of employees, um, paying people to do things that you don't want to do to create passive income is not probably that the, the best opportunity. And then the other one is maybe creating a, uh, if you can sing or dance or play music, you can, you know, write a song and it gets played over and over again or write a book or something like that. You can create some passive income. But, you know, that's probably not in the, the grasp of most people either. And then network marketing, the thing I found out about network marketing is when I was feeling like I had passive income and I was going to take some time off and go on a trip or go on a vacation or, or like one of my other videos that, that you can click on the link. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can, you can see me sailing around the San Francisco Bay. Um, but the problem with network marketing, when I was out of the business, when I was out vacationing, that meant I took my number one player out of the, the game. Basically, I was the most aggressive person. I was working the hardest. If you're in network marketing and you're not your most valuable player, then you're never going to succeed. So you need to be your most valuable player. But when I was out of the out playing around, that means I took my number one producer out of the game. It's like having a, a basketball game and taking Michael Jordan out of the game. It's not a very productive game. And if you took yourself out of the game for too long then that was not a good thing for creating passive, residual, on, ongoing income streams. And so what I found was the Internet was a phenomenal place that I could produce content, whether it's websites, capture pages, videos like this, and no matter what I was doing, no matter where I go, no matter what I'm involved in, those products, that content, that capture pages, those videos, whatever, are continuing to produce activity for me, whether I'm there or not. If I'm, like on the, the video where I'm sailing around the San Francisco Bay, we go to McCovey Cove, we're watching a, a baseball game with the Giants, and, and all the while, I made money because I had, <clears throat> I don't remember what it was, it was 29, 30 people go and watch a, fa a presentation that I put out on the internet. And, and two or three people joined my business, so I made money while I was off doing other things. Now, with network marketing, as it is a great way to create, uh, duplicate yourself, but I was taking myself out of the game every time. So what I want to share with you, if you click on the link, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click on the link and read the rest of the article where I talk about different ways to create passive income streams how to do it, what to do, what to look for and look out for. And so you can create a passive income because what I realized is what goes on the Internet stays on the Internet. So make sure you put good content, good stuff on the Internet. So my name is Vincent St. Louis. I hope you have a blessed and prosperous day.